Ciao everyone, Beth from Thimblehooks back again. I was going to run to Hobby Lobby really quick today because everything was 30% off of yarn and I was going to get a little project for my daughter. She wants a pocket scarf in very specific colors so I stopped at Hobby Lobby. On my way to Hobby Lobby I passed a Joann's. Whoopsie. So I had to pull in and see what they had. I didn't need anything specifically. I never do. Uh, when I just pop in, I usually take it a, tr a special trip to go and get what I need um, when I have a project. And I didn't do that today. I just popped in and I found a little bit of clearance. So I'm excited to see that. Uh, I'm going to show you what I found on the clearance rack. There was hardly any clearance, clearance left, but I'm really excited about what I did find. I've never used this one before. This is awesome. Everything I got today was Lion Brand. And they were, uh, I had clearance stuff here. I got Lion Brand Ice Cream Deluxe. It's like a velvet. I've never seen this one before. I don't know if how, I'm, how I may have missed it. I like the other Lion Brand ice creams. They're really fine. This, however, is a sick, super bulky. And it's like the velvet. And I really haven't worked with the velvets too much. But this one isn't quite as fuzzy, so I thought it would be something I could make something really fun out of. I don't know what. I only have one, so it's going to be something tiny, as usual. But there's one, and it's really cute. I'll have a picture of it up for you so you can see all of the beautiful colors that are all swirled together. But again, Lion Brand, very nice. Always have good product. And I got, these were on clearance. I've never used the softball before either. I have, I'm have. i very specific about the ones that I usually use. I really like woolies and those kind of things and I've never used softball for today. I've never used the softball before. However, they were on clearance and we had all of the colors of the rainbow and that inspired me a lot to do something really fun and stripey with all of the colors. Don't know what it'll be yet, but I'll, I will design something that will be awesome. And they want me to use, this is a five bulky, and they want me to use a nine millimeter hook, which of course I have a nine millimeter hook. It seems kind of like a big hook for a five, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to come up with, come up with really, something really fun and I'm sure it'll be a scarf of some kind because it's not enough to make a blanket, but it's definitely enough to make like a super scarf, a really long super scarf or a super wide scarf. So that excites me. Again, clearance. Didn't know there was any clearance left. There was the tiniest little section of clearance, but it was still fun stuff. So I have those. And then I've always wanted one of these and it happened to be on sale. A cover story. One, what's this? 2.2 pounds, a kilogram, 547 yards, and you're supposed to be able to make one blanket out of this whole skein. With a 9 millimeter hook, it's a super bulky. You can see, super, super thick. This is going to be awesome. And I'm going to use the pattern that's on the inside and see exactly what this looks like. So everybody's probably seen this at a store. If you go to any place that does Michaels or, or the Joann's or any place that has this product, you've probably looked at it and gone, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of expensive and... It's kind of big, I don't know. I'm gonna make exactly what the pattern says so everybody can see what happens when you get one of these. See how big it is, see what stitch they want me to use. It's gonna be really great. So those are those fun things that I happened upon on my way to Hobby Lobby when I accidentally, my car turned, just automatically turns into the Joann's parking lot, I think is what happens. But then I went to Hobby Lobby on purpose because they had 30% off of all their yarn and my daughter wants a pocket scarf in very specific colors. She wants black, gray, white, and purple in that order. So I went, okay, I'm going to go see what I can find that have nice matching colors and I was really particular about, obviously you can find black, gray, and white easily, but I was particular about which purple. I wanted it just to be a purple that I liked. She wasn't there with me. She was at school. So I just picked out the purple that I thought was the best one. So we ended up with the Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids. That's kind of hard to say. And they just call this one Velvet Violet. It's just a really nice purple. I got two of these. 
and it wants a four and a half millimeter four and a half millimeter hook is all it's not real th it's not real thick it's pretty thin yarn so I'm, it's going to be good and it's 100 percent cotton i believe All right, well, I can't find that, but Velvet Violet in Sugar Wheel Cotton Solids. I'm going to assume that it's mostly cotton, at least, because it doesn't tell me 100%, but it feels great. It feels like a cotton. It looks like a cotton. I imagine it's going to act like a cotton. So there's my purples. There's the gray. And this one is called Overcast. I figured that's a perfect name for gray, Overcast. And even they even get fancy with the black... It's called Inkjet, two of those. And white isn't just white either, it's called Snow Capped. Yay! So that is my project for my daughter. I'm going to make her a pocket scarf because she wants another one. She has a couple of pocket shawls or shawls or whatever it is that she wants to call them, but she wants a big pocket scarf. When I told her what I was going to be making, she goes, well, I want one and I want these colors. So I said, okay, well, I'll make it for you in those colors. So there you go. And then of course I went down the other aisle, the other aisles and I found some other things. One thing I did find, clearance. I can't resist clearance and I can't resist a 30% off yarn sale. So it's really hard. There's only one lonely yarn be big and it's in clay. It's actually kind of a red I'm going to open it. It wasn't open or anything. No one's touched it yet. But this is that super big, bulk, bulky, roving beautifulness. So I'm going to try to get a little tiny smidge out of here without damaging it. Because this is really delicate stuff. You can see it's really wide. It's very soft. It's like a cotton ball. Super soft. You can see like that. It's just crazy. I only have one, so I'm not sure what I can make with it. But I could resist it for 75% off on clearance. So it's mine now. It lives at my house. And it gets to join the rest of my yarn stash. So I'll figure out something for it someday. But it might just hang out for a while. So there's one. Just the one. And then down the other aisle, my husband actually picked out this color. These are all Yarn B. This one is Yarn B Effortless Super Bulky. So this is going to want at least a 10. Yeah, this one's a 10 hook. 10 millimeter hook. Nice and thick. This will crochet up really fast. It's super soft. It's amazingly soft. So I thought I could make something. If I, we got four. So I was looking at the yard and just kind of going quickly through my head and thinking, well, I think I could make a cardigan or something out of this because this is a great color. It's called Mossy Acre. And he said, well, this is a great green. It's not bright green. It's just a, it's just a good, good everyday kind of green. You can wear this all the time. So that's what I thought I would do with that one. He's really good at picking out colors. So I like that one very much. I'm going to set those over there for a second so I can keep my little table for the next goodies. And then I got I've always wanted to use this stuff. I was going to actually oh, I wanted to use this product to make my daughter super scarf her pocket scarf but they did not have black. They don't have black in the alpaca twist but this is Yarn B Alpaca Twist and what color do they call this one? Mustard. That's exactly what I would call it. It's just an awesome shade of gold, goldy yellow. It's great. I love this one. I could not resist it. it was, but I was drawn to this one right away. It's a six and a half millimeter hook and it's a four weight, but it's fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy, so it's going to be needing a uh, bigger crochet hook for a four medium weight yarn just because it's a little bit fuzzier I guess that's why they're telling me a six and a half. I'll go with what they say and I'll see what it turns into what it looks like but I've never used the their alpaca twist before so I got four of those where I can make something nice and make a sweater or something since it's getting into that season and though it doesn't get terribly cold where we live 
there are a few days of the year where you go, oh, I wish I had my mittens, or I wish I had a scarf, or I wish I had a hat, or something. It doesn't happen for very long. Mostly it's in January, just for a little while. It doesn't seem to get hot, but I'm originally from Minnesota. I'm sorry, it doesn't usually get cold. I'm uh, originally from Minnesota, so it takes a lot to make me feel like it's really cold. I don't live in Minnesota right now, so um, anything that's above zero, I don't. I barely even want to use a coat. My son hasn't worn a coat since we moved here. All right, then I I had to get some more alpaca twist. I got two more colors. Still the alpaca twist. It was just it was just a nice product. I haven't used it before, and I just felt inspired. And this one is. Oh, come on, tell me what your name is. It's just called purple. I really thought there would be something more intriguing than just purple since it's a, it's almost a periwinkle kind of lavendery kind of thing. I thought they would have a better, better fancy name, but it's just called purple. And again, they want, it's a four medium, so the and they want me to use a six and a half millimeter hook. I'm going to give that a try and see if I like it. And then what is this one? Oh, I forgot. This one is not alpaca twist. I'm going to set those down for just a moment until I figure out where to put them. Because I'm running out of room in my craft room. Oh no. Yeah, I've, I hadn't seen this one before and I just love this color. This one is Yarn B Romantique. Oh, that's a cute name. And again, I would thought this would have a fancier name. It's just called clay. It doesn't look like clay to me. It's kind of a brownish copper. It's like copper. It's a coppery color. And I just thought that was very intriguing. And they want, again, this is a five bulky and it's kind of fuzzy. Instead of just being like a fat, a fat five, it's a skinnier five but it's fuzzy so you want me to use a six and a half millimeter hook which I will I'll give it a try I just thought the colors were too intriguing and too exciting and they look just so autumn they look so autumn and fall and wintry colors for me that I really wanted to give them a try and in the summertime I would never go for an alpaca or a wool or something like that it just wouldn't be wouldn't catch my eye but these colors did for sure because they are totally warm and squishy and for winter time and we're moving into fall and it, it changed over pretty quick two weeks ago you know, 10 days ago it was 90 degrees and now today it's 46 that's a pretty drastic change so everybody's feeling a little bit like mm, I think I wish I had a scarf or some mittens so I'm gonna get busy on that but uh, that was what I did when I accidentally drove into Joanne's whoops and then I went on to go and get my project at at uh, Hobby Lobby. So that's what I got at those two stores. And then on my way home, I found the Tuesday morning. Whoopsie. Car turned right into the parking lot at the Tuesday morning, and I had to go and see what they have. I'm going to do that one next because I have to figure out where to put these. I have to put these away first. And then I will come back and do all of the random stuff that I found at Tuesday morning. I had no idea they had so much yarn. We went in to look, just look around and found a ton of stuff. But first I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to get out those bags and I'm going to be done with uh, probably going to the store for a little while. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't promise so I probably will go back. But anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye. I'm done, boo. Honey.